So today's adventure, we're going to the Kennecott Mine in McCarthy, and you can see by the map the red line and the yellow line. Well, the yellow line is the gravel road that we were on, it's about 60 miles. And when you get to the end of the gravel, you go through this. This is what they call the split. And you start heading on the gravel road. Um, here you've got the river there, and there's some fish wheels on, on this river, and there's some stunning views along the way as well. This is a one-lane bridge that was, um, as a result of the railroad tracks that used to come through there, this actually used to be one of the railroad bridges. Some more viewpoints. Now we're kind of down towards the end of the road here, and this is the footbridge that takes you across. There is a car bridge, but it's more for the locals. It's further down the stream. Now we're at the McCarthy um, train station and then the town of McCarthy, which sprung up because um, the actual mine town was non-drinking and no women. So McCarthy sprung up to be the whiskey, wine, and song uh, part of town. So that's kind of the history of that. Now, this is a national uh, historic landmark. Copper was actually discovered up at the uh, Root Glacier in the 1900s, and by 1903, the mines had started and by 1911 when the train tracks were completed uh, there was a, a total of five mines. Well J.P. Morgan and some other guys got together and after four years the railroad was put in down to Cordova which was 196 miles crossing rivers and canyons and some glaciers. Now the whole system ran until 1938. That was the last train out. A lot of the stuff, the infrastructure was built before the train came in by using dog sleds and horse and buggy and stuff, bringing everything in. Um, so that's kind of the history of the train. Here's the one of the train trestles that was built in like 18 days. Uh, amazing to, to see how long that thing is. It was a great experience and we hope to go back to see it again.